Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Game Pass, I'm Nathan. I've been playing so much Elden Ring, I'm abandoning all of my responsibilities, friends, loved ones, pets, all to raise the number on them sweet, sweet runes. You know what they say, maidens love runes, and I ain't dying maidenless. However, after thoroughly exploring the initial area, I think I have found the absolute best place to farm runes in the early game. This extremely easy strategy, which you can do from the very beginning of the game, will net you 5.5k runes every three minutes, which is a great way to get a leg up on the game, and a good place to drop by and farm all the way up to even like high levels like in the mid 50s so hook up your tractors and let's get ready to farm because here is the best early farming spot for runes in elden ring okay so the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to the third church of marika which is here on the map relative to the starting location you'll need torrent though it's a fairly easy straight shot. If you just follow this road down and then back up, you will land there fairly easily. You'll know you're in the right spot because it's overseen by His Holiness Big Ugly Ass Troll. This is his congregation and you're gonna join it. So head on past into the remains of the church. Here there is a grace that is very easy to get. And in this bowl in the back, you will find a chalice potion, which is basically a cook your own meth style of potion in the way you want. Moving left to this statue, you'll get a cup of delicious waifu tears. This will increase your Estus slash potion potency, which will heal you more. Now from there, you want to head forward and then to the left near the back of the church. You will be hopping over a couple of rocks and then into the pond down here. Based on the color of that water, try not to think about how many diseases you are now walking through. Congrats. And then as you start heading to the back, you'll notice an otherworldly horrible sound. What? What? Oh, Timmy. Timmy, you, le you left the portal to hell open again? Right next to the church? How could you do this? Oh, Timmy, how could you? Do you know how much the Doom Slayer costs to hire? Well, whatever. Anyway, let's just hop on through this portal and we'll enter our new area and our farming location. All right, now we're here at Dragonborough, which is all the way up here on the map. As you can see, it's still technically in the first quote unquote area, I suppose. But this is where you're going to go. You can actually walk here, but I don't recommend it. This is much, much easier. Anything to avoid going through Florida. When you appear here, you want to carefully turn around because, oh my gosh. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's a big bird man. That is a big, big bird man. You know what? We are friends with the bird man. So just leave him to do his, you know, fun and entertaining task of standing there and continue unnoticed. We're going to then traverse down this road. You will see some enemies in black robes. We'll get to them later. Just ignore them for now. Grab yourself a seed that will be next to this tree. I already grabbed it. And continue following the path forward. You can see that big bridge off in the distance that looks nice and safe. Um, it isn't. Just give it a second for the graphics to actually kick in. Any minute now. Come on. Miyazaki, please. Come on. Yep, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. There he is. So you're in the right spot. And here is the grace. This is going to be our home base, our barn, our farmstead for our massive combine farming experience. So what I'm going to show you here is what I call the loop. It is the absolute way to maximize the XP in this area. There are five enemies we are going to kill, each with 1,100 experience points each. These enemies are extremely strong, but they have terrible vision. They're like BMW drivers. They can't see anything to the left or right of them. So we can easily stealth attack them to kill them off quickly. So as you can see, there's a guy up here. This guy is the one that's always the most trouble. He might be facing you, and a lot of times he is, and you can't tell because of the tree. If that's the case, you gotta just bum rush him. Oh, that was lucky. Um, he has very low poise is the nice thing. All these guys have low poise, which means that you can hit them and stun lock them into attack animation so long as you have the stamina to maintain it. So you can see we killed him. We got 1100 runes. So we're going to then head up this way. This is our next target. This guy is almost always facing either to the left or to the right, which means that you can very easily get behind him for a free stealth hit. As you can see, I'm sneaking up behind him. You can see his peripheral vision is just friggin' terrible. It's probably the hats they wear. They can't see anything on those things. And then you boom and you bam and he's dead now these guys have about 1100 hp my character that i'm doing this with my spellblade mage guy is much stronger than my other character so he can one shot them from behind you probably won't be able to um this is also the next guy by the way he's in the road easy to spot just go get him make sure he doesn't see you that's the trick so if you knock them over you're going to want to immediately once they get up start chaining attacks into them if possible i'll go over a specific class that you're going to need to do something special with but most starter classes should be able to stun lock them once they pop up now this last guy you're going to head up in this direction this last guy uh, and, that's, and this one is actually pretty close to, to me. Sometimes he's further back in the field, but he's the one you're going to want to get. Uh, also pretty easy to sneak up on. You're going to sneak up behind him. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Backstab, baby. He's dead. 
another 1100 runes. This has been super easy. And then the last guy is in the field down here. He's kind of in that white part you can see. Where there's like some grass that's kind of whitish. This guy also can be a problem. Sometimes he doesn't face the way that I want him to face. But this time we're lucky, so we're just gonna boom and bop and he is dead so now and yeah he even dropped his armor his armor is actually there are armor actually isn't terrible it's like medium strength armor and it's not super heavy i think it looks really cool but you know you can always just sell it for the runes so that's the loop we're just gonna head back to the rune and reset the area and then just run it again there are definitely more enemies in the area however i like this loop because it circles back to the grace so we can cycle it and just do it again and again and again and you're not going too far out so if you do get killed or something bad happens you can easily go grab and recover your XP. And again, it only takes about two to three minutes to do this loop every time, which is an exponentially high number of runes. So while we're watching me do this again, I'm gonna give a couple tips and tricks on this. First of all, something I didn't know until later is that if you crouch and hold B or square, I guess, on the PlayStation, your dash button, you can do a really fast stealth walk. And as far as I can tell, this does not affect your visibility. Whether you're going slow or fast doesn't matter, so you might as well always go fast. This can let you sneak up behind people really quickly and get what you need to do. And, and speed up this entire process. Another thing that's worth pointing out is that these enemies are really tough. They will one-shot you early on and two-shot you, and even this character that's very high level will die to them if I make a single bad mistake. They do have some fairly simple attack patterns. They all have different weapons that affect what their attacks move sets are. But if you do screw up and they do see you, your main goal is to just get in there and hit them as much as you possibly can. Because again, they have really low poise and you should be able to knock them down without any issues. The last thing I'd like to mention is Astrologer. As we all know, Astrologer doesn't know which side of a sword is the business end because that boy is all about magic. However, you're going to need a sword for this. First of all, you're going to need a weapon. I recommend getting one that scales with int to help that initial hit pump off really good. You can get the Gravitas weapons art from the beach in order to augment any weapon into a magic type temporarily should you wish. Additionally, you're absolutely going to need to buy the skill Carrion Slicer. It's got a stupid name, but it's friggin' one of the best spells in the game early on, honestly. It is a melee kind of sword attack. You saw me do it earlier in the video with this guy. It attacks extremely fast. Every hit will stun lock them and you can keep going so long as you have mana and stamina. So basically your plan as Astrologer is to get the stealth hit and then once they get up, just Carrion Slicer spam them until they go down and you should be fine. It does mean you have to do a little more prep as a Strazer because you have to get the Royal Scroll to the Sorcery Trainer as well as buy Carrion Slicer. But other than that, it is totally worth it. And then you can just roll this whole area. And that's really all that there is to this video. This area has taken most of my characters to level 50 in no time at all because again, you are getting 5,500 runes per loop and each loop is only like three minutes. So if you put on like, I don't know, a YouTube video or something, watch a red letter media, I don't know, in the background and just farm the loop, you can level up so quickly and get a huge huge edge on beating that first castle, beating that first area, and being prepared for the things to come in Elden Ring. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I think I got one more Elden Ring video in me this week. After that, I don't know what's going to happen. We shall see, but I've been really clamoring to do my Mage Knight build and people have been asking for it, so expect that coming up soon. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. We are still a small channel. Liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing helps so much for me. I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you watching my videos subbing, giving likes, commenting. I It's been really weird to have a small channel that have a video basically go viral and have all this attention. I'm not used to it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I hope that this is still helpful to you. I really hope it helps you enjoy your Elden Ring experience further. So have yourselves a great day.